it's Lolly and Mega, and uh, we are back for another episode of Soul Eater. It's been a while because uh, <laughs> I had to take a break, but also before that, there was a period where she just wasn't available to film. Yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, it didn't happen uh, for a few weeks there. <laughs> School's <And> hard, folks. <laughs> I, I can't believe how many comments I guess I was like, are you? you doing this series anymore? Where's episode seven? Why isn't episode seven? Life happens. <laughs> but I'm honored that you guys miss it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad that you guys are liking it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, we're back. We're gonna start trying to film ahead on these soon so that that doesn't happen again. But yeah, so we are on episode seven already. Last episode was the introduction of Death the Kid into the school. Yeah, my boy. And, uh, <laughs> he in Soul in Black started this kind of half-assed fight that they had mm -hmm. in, in front of the... <laughs> oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. And, but it was it's still a cool episode, very character. It was more like playing around with characters and plot point but yeah yeah so shall we shall we just jump into it yes okay certainly something tells me it's midnight <laughs> Oof. i never noticed that the sun has blood between his teeth eat all you can mm-hmm it's still more entertaining to me than the sun, though. The moon. Is. Yeah. Eat as much as yeah, I think it's the moon. Yeah, I think it is. Until you become the ultimate evil. Cool. Fun, right? I said it before and I'll say it again. I love the art <laughs> style on this show. Hello, Italy! This is one cool country, huh? You know what they say, when in Rome, eat lots of fun. <laughs> we didn't come here to be poor and try to stuff our faces. Do you get that, soul? Hey, hold it, punk. <laughs> Problem? You bet there is. I got a lot of people so calmly. to me like that. Problem. Who do you think you're messing with? Maybe you'd like me to show you, huh? If you spilled ever. more and spit less, maybe I'd be able to understand you. <gasps> oh! oh! Do you know who controls this town? The Matarazzi. That's who. Oh, we're, we're going into the Italian mafia? I couldn't care less about that if I tried. So Let him have it. Strolling away. Black blooded terror. Mm. There's a weapon inside Krona. In the dramatic episode. That was dramatic, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the usual. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta everything's gotta be dramatic. The moon should really learn to brush his teeth more. You think? No. <laughs> your gums are bleeding because you don't <laughs> floss. <laughs> I like her design. Right? Isn't she great? With the... I don't know if those tattoos or whatever. Yeah, tattoo. Oh, you will be a kitchen. Oh, Krona. <laughs> Kishin souls. They're like the bad guy souls. Mm -hmm. So I she's am. turning her so into a mistake of thinking you could just walk into our castle on the villain, basically. Pretty much, yeah. That's that's this is a okay. public place actually, which is why Ragnarok is going to eat you all. Right now. Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Inward. 
The thing yesterday sure was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Whatever she sapped her brain with made her go a little crazy there, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. My blood is black. Okay. That moon is bleeding an awful lot now. Yeah. I have a feeling it runs with the blood of the city. That was easy. See, in this show, they, like, evaporate into souls. In other anime, that'd be the moment when they, like, cross paths and then they burst into spray of blood. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Learn some manners, man. <laughs> it's just the way they feel going down the texture. Hmm. So how do you think Black Star and Tsubaki are doing? You feel bad for poor Tsubaki. Same man. Same. I seem to remember someone saying we didn't come here to sightsee. Oh, that was you. It's not that. It's something else. Yes. <laughs> Saturday night, after all. For all we know, maybe they've just got a little fever going on. No, soul. Now's not the time for jokes. We're representatives of the Academy. Did he just make a if Saturday night fever joke? Happens, I guess. <laughs> but if we storm in there and it ends up being a bunch of people with Black Star in the center saying, Welcome to my big show, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I only hope that's all it is. <laughs> I love how she's got the schoolgirl outfit going on, but she's also got like the really rad, gigantic black tail coat to go with it. She's so punk rock. Oh, oh, souls. Now there's just the weapon and the meister. So maybe you should be a bit more careful. Yeah, yeah, good, good instincts. Thank you. Come on! It's my duty to find out what happened. Those doors only open inward. What the hell? He's in there all by himself. Keep it down, Ragnarok. You need to be quiet now. Is that a girl or a boy? I no one's sure. Okay. <laughs> I think in the manga, Krona was a girl. But in the anime, Krona's a boy or something like that, or a Japanese English version has a difference. I don't know. Maka isn't even at school right now. All this risk for nothing. The only place to see Maka's here at the academy, so I came. Sure. But coming here means I might run into him. Frankenstein! Oh, I want to see my daughter! But before I do all that, I need to have a lovely school nurse heal my wounded heart and give me courage. Oh, yes. <gasps> And this is why your wife left you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey there, spirit. I've been looking for you. I don't know what you want with me, but I'll get I take it you noticed that I swapped the middle toe from your right foot with the one on your left foot? What are you nuts? How could you do something like that to me? Two have found a love that is sure to last forever. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sickest, subtlest burn. Uh, Maka? Run? <laughs> okay, that was- that quickly diminished the- the- <laughs> Okay, this went from creepy to what? Real fast. Oh, it's gonna get creepy. Thank you. You should stop this. 
I know my blood is black. <laughs> but his blood hardened and the blade stopped completely when I hit his blood vessels. Well, if you're right, then how do you propose we go about beating him? She's a girl. I'm no good with girls. What am I supposed to do with her? <laughs> how silly. Maybe I could play with her hair first, just for a little while. The doors here open inward. They only open one way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this show like continues to straddle the line between downright creepy and laughably bizarre. Mm -hmm. Oh! I am your weapon partner, Monica. That means I'm always prepared to die for my mice. So bless your heart. <laughs> This might be a moment where running is a better option. <laughs> you gotta get out! <laughs> if she fights back, it's just gonna hurt so- yeah. Yep. Doors only they open, open in one way! way. <laughs> oh man. Grab and You'll pull. pull the door open. back to human form to block her because she wouldn't do it. I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> Corona was approaching and I was like, oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, man. <laughs> she doesn't know it's coming. <laughs> oh, man. Corona's a creepy little bugger, huh? Mm -hmm. I guess, I guess it's a he. I guess that's what they were saying for now. Yeah, I guess I'll, that's what I'll go with until I learn otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't it, know. It's confusing. Creepy. Very creepy and yes. cryptic. And like, sometimes it seems like he knows what's going on and he's very up with it and everything. And other times he seems like he's uh, completely lost his mind. Um, yeah. But then the parts where it seems like he's completely lost his mind come back with in a more poignant way. Like the whole, uh, my blood is black thing and the, the doors, doors only, only open, open one way. Open, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the sword is called Ragnarok. Correct. But Frankenstein, which is Stein, sorry. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, called it the demon sword. Mm -hmm. And then they flash back to Maka and Soul, and Soul said, Wait, there's a weapon inside of him? Which I don't want to think about this, but Black Butler season two, <laughs> there uh, was yeah. the one character that was called the sheath that holds the demon sword. Because she literally had a demon sword inside of her. Yeah. Is this some sort of trope in anime that I have yet to experience? Or is this just a weird one time these things have happened to exist know. at the same time? I'm already <laughs> preferring this version of the demon sword. Because, one, I hate Black Butler season two with the vengeance. <laughs> two, I hate that character with an even bigger vengeance. Yes. So... I concur. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the the fact that 
Ragnarok burst out of his spine and then proceeded to like poke and prod his face like he was like an elderly aunt or something. <laughs> it was a little odd. And then the noises too. Like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> like it was it was like I said, it traverses that line of yeah. like legitimately creepy and just just plain goofy. <laughs> yeah. But it, in in its goofiness, it's like Ragnarok is um, like tormenting Krona, and Krona is n not having any of it. She doesn't. He, she he doesn't want any part of, any part of this. So, but then the chick, the witch, I'm mm -hmm. calling her a witch for now until I know any different. Yes, but um, she seems to have control over them. But when Stein was talking about it, he made it sound like the sword was the one that was the all-powerful, so... I don't know. There's a power dynamic there that is clearly too early to completely understand. <laughs> but, um... Another thing I would like this show to iron out a bit is... What they consider a deadly blow and not. Because, like... Black Stars, like, almost died, like, four times already. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only episode seven. Yeah. But then he, like, gets up and, like, walks it off like nothing happened. And other characters get, like, stabbed in the head or whatever and they walk it off. So <laughs> I, I I just want to figure out where that line between cartoon violence and, like, what is actually deadly to the characters is. Yeah. Because obviously that was considered legitimately deadly to Soul. Yes. So it's just going to be... I hope something that they are now in the future. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Some real plot points popping up. Mm-hmm. I like that it was just like a fully solo mock episode. Like, I I love all of the characters, but when you get them all in there at once, it can be a little overwhelming and you lose sight of like the actual character-driven moments. So it's it's cool that we've got episodes here and there that are just focused on couple characters mm -hmm. so yeah but yeah really good yeah very yeah. excited <laughs> we need to do more of these soon yes <laughs> definitely definitely but yeah so thank you guys for watching i love you so much and we will see you in the next video Bye bye bye